Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. It's Tony one year once again for Masters of the 80s. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, numerous reasons, I've been unwell, other things, no one really cares. But what I thought I'd do is I would have a look at a few Blu-rays that I've picked up recently. I haven't picked up a great deal in the last couple of months. There's a few things that have cropped up uh, from a couple of different companies. Uh, a couple of titles I've got in, nothing mind-blowing. Um, but some some nice releases, nevertheless. Um, there's there's a, a, a severe drought for the kind of film that I, ha I like at the moment, and I, and I don't know if a lot of these companies uh, feel like they've exhausted the the kind of stuff I'm into very early on, so I've looped down other paths to, to sort of find films from. Um, whether that's the reason, the kind of thing I like is, is, is very, very rarely seen now. It's very seldom that, that, that a lot of these companies release the kind of thing I'm into. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but there's a couple of titles cropped up over the last few months, and I've sort of been sitting on these. I've been stockpiling them really, just so I could throw a little video together. Um, so the first one we'll have a look at. Now, when I first saw this film, Saw it on Disney Plus on the, on the first day of release and thought it was really good. I know a lot of people disliked it, um, but I love the franchise and I thought this was a, quite a good uh, addition to the franchise. It was better than some of the, 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 the recent films that have been within this franchise uh, and I thought it stood out quite a bit um, and I enjoyed it. But um, this release by uh, 20th Century Fox uh, is a bit of disgrace on Blu-ray, to be, to be fair. Uh, and the film is Prey. Um, again, I, I, I really, really enjoy the film. I like the sort of direction that it took. Um, I like the sort of, um, the way it was shot. I like the art style of it. It, it, it it's, a good, it's a good film. And I know a lot of people disliked it. And I sort of understand why. But for me personally, I really enjoyed it. But this release is absolute dog shit. And 20th Century Fox should hold their head in shame with it, really. Um, this is a premium price Blu-ray here in the UK. So I think this was 15 99 um, I didn't bother with the 4K. I don't need the 4K. I saw it on Disney, on Disney Plus in 4K. And it, and it looked good, but I, I, at this point, I don't really care. So I plumped for the Blu-ray. Uh, and it is a cheap piece of shit. I mean, if you can see, the case they've gone with is one of those solid blue cases, not the see-through blue one, sort of like the translucent blue one that we get here in the UK. And they've gone on a 10 mil one, like the US cases. Uh, this is also a recycled case. So you can imagine the, the, the thinness of the quality of this. For £16, uh, it's a shame that this Blu-ray got released like this. Um, it deserved more, it deserved better. I know some of you are probably screaming, Tony, why didn't you buy the 4K? It might have been a bit better. Yeah, it may have been, but it was like 26 quid or 25 quid. I wasn't willing to pay it. Uh, to be fair, 16 pound, 15 16 pound for me is, is, is a bit over the mark. Normally I would wait for these, and I, and I wish I had a wait for this to come down there, to be fair. But I wanted it because I enjoyed it. Um, I think the artwork is a little bit lazy on the front of it as well as it, 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 isn't, it isn't brilliant. Um, it, it just it's just all round a lazy lazy release of what is essentially is, is, a, is a pretty good film um, so it was a shame but that, that was Prey that I picked up um, 88 have released some a couple of decent things that I've picked up recently and it's rare for 88 to be turning out anything that I'm into um, but they whipped out not long back um, Ark of the Sun God um, a nice little Italian exploitation Indiana Jones kind of film. Um, if you like the whole Italian Indiana Jones feeling stuff and you've never heard of Ark of the Sun God, uh, give it a whirl, it, it, it is good, um, you will enjoy it. Um, this is part of the Italian collection. Um, they've been putting these out for years, so if you look on the reverse, um, you get that white cover with the number at the top. This is number 81 and the original artwork there with the, the Italian. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Um, but like I said, uh, it was nice to see this one. I think this has come to 4K as well. I think 88 put a 4K in this out. 
Uh, but again, I don't, I don't need the 4K of this kind of film, you know what I mean? It's, I remember this kind of stuff from the VHS era. So, you know what I mean, I'm used to a murky, grainy looking picture. To see it in Blu-ray, it'll do me fine. Um, but it, like I say, if, you, if you've never seen it, 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 it's definitely worth a pickup, you know what I mean? This is a 4K restoration of a 35mm negative uh, onto a Blu-ray, so it does look good. Um, again, only 88 minutes long, so it's nice and short, which is great, just the way I like it. Um, and a, a nice one to, to, to put into the, the uh, Italian Classics collection. Um, yeah, so Urk of the Sun God. If you've not seen that one, you like Indiana Jones style films, then check that out. Uh, Signal One have, have been knocking some real good films out uh, the last couple of months. Um, first one being Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires. Uh, I think Screen Factory have got a version of this. I think this is Screen Factory's transfer that these guys have just ported over. But nevertheless, it, it, it's a really good film. Um, this was the first outing for Hammer and the Shaw Brothers working together, um, which it screams both companies, which is fantastic. If you're into Hammer stuff, it's nice to see Peter Cushion popping up in this one. Uh, it's full of Kung Fu martial arts goodness that you expect from any Shaw Brothers film. Uh, and it works quite well, you know what I mean? It's got that Hammer-esque horror vibe to it with a martial arts element that you'd expect from Shaw Brothers. Uh, and it's nice that, that, that Signal 1 whacked this one out. There's not much in the way of, of, of special features on it, you know what I mean? There's a still a galley and, a, and, a, and a, an original theatrical trailer. To be fair, Signal 1 don't really do much in the way of special features. Um, I've got a couple of uh, Signal 1 releases like this and there ain't much on them, but at a price point, I think they're only £12 these when they come out. Uh, and they're actually quite nice, they've got reversible art on it. It's the exact same art, all they do is remove the BBFC logo. Um, but they are really nice releases for the money. Um, you know what I mean? If these guys can do it, you know what I mean? Fucking hell, 20th Century Fox could have, could have done a better job uh, on on, uh, on Prey. Um, so that's The Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires. Uh, another Signal 1 release. Uh, Stallone and David Carradine, this is a blind of this, this is an upgrade for me because I had this on DVD. Uh, it is Death Race 2000. Uh, brilliant, bizarre little film. Um, it, it's odd, it, it's in the year 2000, the hit and run has become a national sport. Uh, it's televised, hit and runs. Um, nice film, uh, it's one of them where Stallone's there but he's not there really, you know what I mean, he's not in it for that much of the film. Um, but an, another another nice uh, addition for, for Signal One to pick up and put out. Again, not much on it. An interview with Roger Corman, uh, a video essay with film historian Mark Serby, Still Galley, and original theatrical trailer. Um, it, 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 again, it looks really good. I think this again is a, is a screen. It might be a screen. I think it's a screen factory edition that they've ported over again, like the last one. And again, exactly same artwork. They just took the BBFC logo off, which it, it gives you that option to remove to remove the the age certification if you want to. So that's Death Race 2000, and finally, uh, an 88 film release. Now, for some reason. Uh, Ark of the Sun God didn't get a slip, I don't know why, I mean I don't really care about slips, but this one um, I wanted from day one, so I went to pre-order him, which is again, is unlike me, uh, and it is Iron Warrior. Now, any of you guys out there know me, know I love a bit of sword and sorcery, the old sword and sandals, the old fantasy, um, and this one's a pretty good one. Um, I own the original video shop poster for this film. Now, the bit that gets me with this, uh, and it's a lovely release, don't get me wrong, Arrow have done a really nice job with it, and again, it's an uh, uh, Arrow, it's 88 films, uh, have done a really good job with it, and it is again, it's one of the Italian uh, collection titles. Um, the quality of the slips stepped up massively. The high gloss, they're quite thick, unlike other ones that they've produced over the years. And again, I don't really care about slips, but the thing that annoys me about it is that artwork. That is some, again, of the laziest artwork I have ever seen. It's awful. Now, that's the original uh, theatrical poster and video shop poster art, uh, which is great. Now, there's reverse on this. The reverse is, is, is just that that's on the slip. Um, this is the one I remember. This is the one I still own uh, a, a poster of. Um, 
but that hurt work it, it, it's terrible and if you get up close to it, I mean the camera won't do it much justice it looks like they've just took stills from the actual film and ran it either through AI or some kind of I, I don't know program to do something with it because it's got like a real weird black edge to it all and it doesn't really look right and the sort of skull helmet that he's wearing is offset to his shoulders it, it just doesn't look right it's all off camber it, 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 it's weird it's shit to be honest uh, which surprised me because you know I mean, yeah, you normally do some good artwork but that's just lazy um, again same with the insides uh, the, 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 the booklet that, that comes with it and the discard is even fucking worse I mean if you look at Miles O'Keefe on that I mean it just looks terrible but that said it's nice to see someone actually put this film out um, this is Miles O'Keefe taking the role of Ator again um, I get confused with all the Ator films that minute I think this is the fourth one I think this is the fourth one because I think the third one was called Blade Master um, but they're all Ator films um, I think the first one is the is it the Fighting Eagle Ator the Fighting Eagle I think like I say I get confused and Miles O'Keefe I think has played Ator in them all um, Miles O'Keefe got stereotyped a little bit with this kind of stuff, which I don't mind because I think he's actually really good at doing it. Uh, one of the better films in it is uh, Sword of the Valiant, if you've ever seen that film uh, with Sean Connery. Uh, that's, that's a really, really good sort of um, medieval, uh, the, the sort of court of King Arthur and Camelot kind of film. That, that's really good. Uh, but this kind of stuff uh, for me is bread and butter, the sword and sorcery stuff. Uh, it's really good, but like I said, really really lazy artwork on it it's a shame uh, because it, it, it would have been an outstanding title otherwise um, so that's it so we got the really cheap shitty version of Prey which is a shame Urk of the Sun God from 88 Films Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires from Signal 1 um, Death Race 2000 from Signal 1 and Iron Warrior um, from 88 Films. And that's it, guys. That, that's what I picked up in the last two months, maybe. And again, there isn't much there. Um, I picked a few VHS up and things like that, and we'll, we'll do a, a VHS overview uh, in the next couple of days when I've got a little bit of time. But again, guys, thank you very much for everyone that's tuning in. Thank you very much for everybody that's liking and subscribing. Take care. I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.